Um, I come here with a little bit of a heavy heart today. I have been one of the few people that have been defending the Secretariat through this process that has um, been observing their, their movements and, and what they've been doing um, and have been an advocate as somebody that's been speaking out for them when it comes to the transparency and the credibility of this process. I'm now here again up to this morning. I said, you know, I was commending them on, on the work that they've been doing. And during the course of today, uh, in my opinion, things started to unravel a little bit. So beginning with uh, uh, our use of our cell phones. Well, as you all know, in Union United Guyana's logo is the cell phone. We had an instance today where some, uh, some of the APNU uh, leaders entered the building and we had taken, we had noticed that they did not follow protocol and we went about taking a few photos to state that this is, this is part of the issue and worrisome to people like ourselves that are in there working on a daily basis as it is a risk to our health. Um, we were then confronted and told that we are not to be taking pictures within the building. It is something we stand very strongly for, that transparency is key in this process, and we have raised it since day one that cell phones should be allowed, and we were granted that. Um, there is a basket of issues that came up, and there were some very specific guidelines in which we were told to follow once using our cell phones, but that we were allowed to use them. Today we were confronted uh, for using it and we were told that pictures or any kind of recording for that matter is not allowed in the building. I'd like to state that during our meeting with the commission, it is something that did come up and it was made verbally clear to us that it is allowed. The a member of the secretariat today has contradicted that. Next issue that we've had, again following the same pattern, was today in the tabulation room. I think it's important that all parties, especially stakeholders, in this particular election are heard on this matter because we are watching this go down a very dangerous path and unfortunately it is taking a little bit of traits that, have, that we watch occur at the Ashman's building. As I know, multiple people have come out here and st spoken about this already, but in Union United Guyana would definitely like to add to the voice in stating that within the order, uh, the gazetted order of the recount, it has been made extremely clear um, in very plain language that there is a process that is to be taken place after every region is, de is finished and the process that should be followed for it to be declared. We watched today as the tabulation started at 4 o'clock. One of the secretariat uh, for GCOM came into the room um, and let us know that Region 1 will not be declared until a report is made and done by the CEO and the secretariat for GCOM, of GCOM and that from there it will go to the, to the commission and then it will be declared. Well, I'm sure you guys have gone through this entire process, and I'm sure people have come out here and read this order already for you, in which a step obviously has been skipped that needs the verification of all political parties, CARICOM, and, um, and again, all observers involved. Uh, those are two main issues that we brought up. We've been told today, um, just when we were closing off the meeting, that it will be brought up at the commission level. The commission, I asked commissioners as we were leaving that no meeting has been called for tomorrow yet. And this has brought up a lot of concern. We're in this right now for transparency and credibility. That's what this recount is about. And we have put, we found ourselves in another peculiar, peculiar situation in which we need clarification on. And we are hoping that we can be transparent with Guyana as to what is happening out in there so that everyone's concerns can be addressed and understood. Are you, currently, are you saying that there's currently no provision for parties to sign up on a declaration before this meeting? When you say no provisions, the provisions are made in the order for that to happen. 
Our issue right now is that it is not happening. So we have raised it there that they are not following the Gazette order. And we have questioned that. Um, we raised concern today that as soon as the meeting finished with the Commission and APNU, as soon as we got downstairs, Madam Chair had left the building once we had these queries. These are the kind of issues we have with transparency where we are not getting a chance to have, um, have these issues immediately rectified. It's been two days now. We're on to our second day that Region 1 has finished. Sir, which so, part of the order it says that the declaration is automatic? I'm just curious. It's not that it's automatic. So what it states is in, in, in um, Section 10 of the Gazetted Order, it states how uh, the declaration is to be made and gone about, in which it clearly states between 10 and 12 that the process is once it's finished, once the, the region is finished, all the boxes have been completed, we then go to the district supervisor. They are then stating that they, it is signed off. It's all written in the order. It is then signed off by them. It is then corroborated by the, the parties involved. It is then corroborated by the uh, GCOM and international observers. And then, a re and then it is handed over to the secretariat, the CEO, in which he then prepares a, uh, a report and that is sent to the commission for the commission to review to make the final declaration. That is what is set out in orders 10 to 12 of the gazetted, uh, the gazetted document for the way this recount is to take place. Um, we've raised quite a few concerns here that are occurring from, from today. And, and again, I come here with a heavy heart as somebody that's been following uh, and raising concerns regularly with GCOM. And we are now back to square one, and a new United Guyana hopes to get these issues rectified as soon as possible. But again, we have gotten no, uh, nowhere when trying to contact commissioners or CEO or chair as they have all left the building. And we fear that we are back to square one position. What has GCOM told you about what will be done to the observation state? Whether they will be addressed? You know, I brought this up again today, where we are having an issue with conflicting information as we've heard in the media just from you guys out here that commissioners are coming with different things and then from inside there we are being told at certain points that these documents will have a varying um a varying impact on the final declaration so to be very honest with you that is something that we raised with the commission today and we have to get a clarified uh decision on how these reports are going and this is this is something that we've been noticing as a trend where People are coming out here from various parties. We are, you know, and everybody has their own, of, of, you know, version of the truth. And the reality is, we are getting no kind of ratification from GCOM as to clear up these matters. I, I have heard Miss Ward come out here. I have heard various commissioners come out here, and I've heard that it'll have no bearing on it. And then I've gotten in there, and we've been told that. The report needs to be considered before anything happens. And Anu United Guyana is of the position that the issues that arise in the observation report are to be dealt with on another matter, on a, on a separate uh, scale. These are issues, as, as I heard Mr. Schumann put it elegantly today, that's a marry between a GCOM and the courts as to how those issues are to be dealt with. Because as you get into evidence and issues and, and proof that these things have happened, that needs to be done with, done through a court. So we are of the opinion that this recount is a separate um, is a separate process, and provisions were made in the uh, during the cleaning of the list in the uh, what you call it um, claims and objections period, and then again on the day of at uh, of elections, you had the entire process of the while people were voting in which these issues could have been brought up. So we are now asking to go back into those scenarios, and a new United Guyana feels that this is not the time for that. This is a separate, uh, a separate situation and a separate process, and all that needs to be handled um, and addressed at another time. What do you mean, like in an petition? You see, we are trying our best to stay away from labels. Uh, we understand what an elections petition is, and we understand people are claiming that this may be an audit or, uh, you know, other terms that they're attaching to this. At this point in time, in a new United Guyana's position is that this is a recount. This is what is in those boxes, need to come out of those boxes, understood, counted, rechecked, go, go, goes back into that box. How they got there, why they got here, the issues with them getting there are not to be dealt with at this time. 
Um, one, one other matter I'd like to deal with, and I think this is very critical, and I, I, I feel that everybody needs to lend their weight to this, is that a lot of misinformation and downright, downright lies have been told when it comes to certain things that are happening in that building and during this, tab, uh, during this counting process. For example, one of those very clearly is the fact that these books, um, the, the, the uh, poll books are missing. We had one instance of that previously, and that has been rectified very quickly. I heard it up to today. Um, an APNU representative said that books are still missing. You guys have had that cleared up. I heard Ms. Ward say that's not true, and we would like to reiterate that. We have seen no instance. We had one issue in Region 1 in the beginning that was very click quickly cleared up, and the books were, were found and gotten here. And since then, we've had no issues at all with polling books. That's just... Um, we have been told we have not been made aware of any of that so in reality from our perspective to bring that up here before the political parties are made aware of it may be a little bit of a biased situation and I don't I don't believe that that should be addressed in these type of forums again until the Commission and, and, and such deals with it because we as I'll give you another example today I, uh, very clearly in in Philadelphia primary school there was an issue where there was 215 votes that were done, that were um, showing on the, on the record. And then as the ballots were counted, it was 214. Coincidentally, on the SOPs that we have from that uh, polling station, it clearly showed that the new and united Guyana had to have a vote there, and that was the vote that was missing. When the box was opened, there was not even an envelope in that box for a new and united Guyana. So these are the small irregularities, again, that keep rising. And I can speak maybe a little bit sarcastically here, but to be honest with you, if I'm to tell you that I believe the entire election should be called off because of this one irregularity, I think would, 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 would be lending to a lot of people's, you know, maybe insulting to a lot of people's intelligence. And we've been hearing these type of things going around right now from the various parties. And we believe that these type of issues, again, are not to be dealt with here. And Union United Guyana has an issue to raise. Um, and where we've had many of these type of irregularities, but this is not the forum for that during this recount. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.